Hello, UA Path Experts. Today, we will see about a new project in our BOTS DNA. First of all, welcome to the BOTS DNA. In BOTS DNA, we have a, a 21 project. The second project is like a so jewelry store. In this video, I would like to explain about what we have to do. So, any, any project in the BOTS DNA, we have a two things. One is a requirement, another one is a solution. Step by step solution. The requirement in this video, we will discuss about the what is the requirement of the new project called jewelry store. In the jewelry store, just imagine there is a jewelry store where they are getting a new jewelry store every month. But the jewelry store will come as a Excel. Let's download the input Excel jewelry stock for the current month. I'm just storing it in the, a new folder. Let's open this folder and check the whether how the Excel and current month new jewelry stock looks like. In this Excel, we have a, a three uh, sessions. What is the engagement category, men's jewelries, women's jewelries. Under engagement jewelries, if you see in, in, in the all the uh, sheets, we have a two columns. One is a jewelry and metal type. What jewelry is available and what is the metal type? So, based on the stock, which is, this is a stock, we have to update the stock. Based on the stock, so, the stores, they will tell to the customer, we have a, uh, this engagement rings, we have a uh, stock on the necklace rings, or 18, 18 characters rose gold, or white gold, right? So, a mixed metal uh, bracelet is there, right? So, different stores are there, but the, our duty is, uh, right now, there is a person called, a person, every month, he has to update the stock in this jewelry store stock page. We are saving the time of that person. How can we save the time of that person? to just eliminate the work which he is doing repeatedly every month from him to the robot. So what I am going to tell you, so you have to build the robot in any language, yeah, in any RP tool, UI path or any RP tool, the robot has to read these sheets. If you see the sheets, that is a category, the same category. See here, engagement. Men's jewelry, women's jewelry. Got it? And the jewelry type, jewelry type is like this. Suppose, for example, these are all the rings. Rings are there. These are all the rings under the engagement. Select the rings. And then, so from the rings, this is a 15K rose gold, right? So select this one. Then, what is the other ring? ring just go to the rings only. Okay? White gold, rose 18, 15k white gold. Uh, this one, 18k white gold. Next one is this. Like that, the all the uh, jewelry type, jewelry type, and the uh, metal type. So you have to update. You have to click on the submit button. Once you submit, the stop. You have to update. So God has to look for this message. Once this message comes. That means it is updated successfully. Click on OK and go for the uh, next item, bracelets or anything, whatever is available. Bracelets is there. The bracelets is there, right? Under the engagement. Again, engagement, bracelets, and the what are the things from the starting? If you see bracelets, 21 characters, uh, 21 white, white, uh, gold. Okay. There is a yellow, okay. Then what is the next? 24 characters orange. Right? 
like that. So in, the Buddha has to check all the translates and uh, fill the information and click on the submit button. For example, if you go back to the rings, so it, the stock is already updated. The stock is updated. Okay. For example, if you want to do freshly, otherwise it will store the uh, data. Right, store the data. So for example, I'm just clicking this and uh, selecting this back, back. These are all the storing the data. So to just clean the stock, click on the reset stock only one time. So it will clean the, all the data. It will give the a fresh empty store. Now, if you, if you see, if you refresh and see, there's no, there's no rings. Data is there, not there. Brazil data is not there. So my recommendation is, so before that, so just click on the reset button first, and then you just start. So once the engagement is done, so go to the men's students, go to the women's students like that. So yeah, that is a uh, task once it is completed. So what it has to do once uh, after selecting this, click on this. So before click on the OK button, it has to take a screenshot of that. Screenshot of that for that particular set. If you see uh, a screenshot of these, let me take a screenshot. It is a it is a proof that you updated successfully for that particular. So this is like an engagement. So what is that? See here, engagement and bracelet, a combination, right? So what you can do, so you can just mark as engagement after square. Underscore symbol and the password. That is the asset you uh, updated, right? This is the uh, image name should be like this. If you open <coughs> this is the image so that they can understand you updated successfully. Got it? So that is the overall requirement. The requirement is like so the user has the bot has to. Download the Excel and uh, read the Excel. Go to the all each and every uh, sheet and uh, select the sheet as a category and uh, jewelry type and the metal type and click on the submit. Take a screenshot of that particular set. The set is a like a combination of the category and jewelry uh, and metal types. Okay. So right now we have one set. Then again go for the another set like so engagement earrings like that. So that is a requirement. So please try to build a, a beautiful robot and uh, save the time of the, uh, uh, the accountant or uh, the store manager from the jewelry store. Okay. Thank you very much.